Hello my dear Skeletons, it's me, your favorite veteran of Skeleton War and this is the new episode of Dream Daddy. Last time we finished the grill without further ado. Right now we have a whole night for ourselves because uh, Amanda went to get away uh, with some friends and now we have to do something alone. Daughter, how could you? Uh, I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. That's alright. I love to be able to cook like that. Although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of yelling. I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey kiddo, you good? I wander to the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, it's in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone, nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell are not only not as... Uh, as gauging. Okay, soothing my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that would have happened to her. Oh, thank God. It's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally, she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sap. Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Ugh. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Ah. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda N. Hmm. Wow, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after a curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Hmm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, not I don't like your attitude, because I feel like it's escalating conflict. Uh, I do have a right to be concerned. She has, She's gonna say I have a right to live my life. I think that focusing on like, what I was thinking, maybe, will make her think. I was scared. You weren't responding, and I, it was just... <laughs> it was just like when your mom... I have to stop myself from thinking up. Oh, Dad! I didn't mean to! I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I felt very tired all of a sudden. You're really scared me, just... Please, don't do that again. Oh. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay, but we didn't escalate conflict, so... I guess it's... <laughs> it was better that way. 
Amanda closed the door to her room and I head to mine. Please. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. Um. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey, um. I thought about what you said last night. Huh? I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. <sighs> I'm really sorry, pups. I won't do it again. Yes, relationship with daughter secured. Well, I'm sorry for freaking out on you. I trust you to make good choices. Uh, not good. Um, I guess I. It's the time to say so. You're an adult now. I should have have gotten so worked up. Hmm. Team Magenta. Team Magenta. <laughs> Amanda gives me a hug. Yes. Want some eggs? <laughs> you know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. Right. Bless ya. Amanda scarves down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell ya later. Wait, one more thing before we go. Hmm. What? What's that book? Uh, it's a social media platform. Wait. Hmm. What? What's a social media platform? <laughs> Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Hmm. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Ah. Amanda spends the next couple minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which, is at, uh, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Yes, that's ah. what they told me. Alright, pups, we gotta fill you out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. That book. Oh, on a Friday night, you are mostly likely to. Oh my god, this is a quiz. Feels like a quiz about my personality. Okay, Polish has served my coin collection. No. Netflix and grill, baby. Mm, um, I don't know, maybe. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. No, I don't think my dad is very History Channel dad. Torment my children with dad puns. Sink into blissful oblivion. Sleep. Torment my children with dad puns. I guess this this is what I would do if I were dad. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what it would be? My trusty grill. Uh, lots, uh, the lost shaker of salt? Why? Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. But like... Cast away on DVD without a TV won't do me any good. A boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills have trained me for this day. Mm, a boat, obviously. Yeah. What are your turn-ons? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Strong dad arms. Whoa. Tennis shoes with long white socks. No. Well manicured lawn. Nah. Street smart. Ho, ha. Top tier grill manship. Comfortable with crying. Huh. Hmm. Okay, let's. I see some top tier ones, uh, like comfortable crying or strong dad arms. Okay, uh, let's get with tennis shoes now, a manicured lawn now, street smarts. Maybe, maybe. Top tier grillmanship. But, like, what I want that to, like, be for me? Strong dad arms. I guess, like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of going. The like three ones uh, are more top tier. A strong dad arms, street smarts, and comfortable with crying. And I feel like street smarts is like uh, obviously like Robert thing. But I'm not sure if I want to pursue him. We will see. Uh, I hope that I didn't, you know, close this uh, path. But. That happens, so... Mm, comfortable with crying. I don't know if it's something that I would put on that book, honestly. Uh, so maybe strong dad arms. I'm gonna go with strong dad arms. Oh! And strong dad arms can be metaphorical, too. Which is like, comfortable with 
Why? Something. Uh, okay, what did you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer for manuals and instructionals. Okay, salty boat captain. Cross skater who is also an astronaut. A good father. A pre the president of space. Okay, a pro skater who is also an astronaut or the president of space uh, are my favorites. <laughs> um, okay, my what Tio would be when I would go to the Tio's brain. I feel, I feel like the president of space would would be would be a good thing for Tio to be a president of space. Uh, what's your favorite movie genre? More documentaries. No, Sean Connery's entire filmography. Uh, anything on laser disc, romantic comedies, whatever will make me cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. No. Okay, you know, let's go with maybe, maybe Sean Connery. What's your ideal date? Napping together. <laughs> That's sweet. Doing one. No, no puzzles. Um, that seems like a frustration if the puzzle is awful. Eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m. Trying to go cash, but getting hopelessly lost. Oh, is it like the scavenger hunt or something like that? Arson! 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 Being emotionally burned. Um... Okay, it's like in general ideal date, but I'm gonna go with like the first date because it's like different. Uh, I think... Hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, hopelessly lost. Okay, because this one gets like some, you know, very good fan fiction things in my brain. But on the other hand, getting hopelessly lost means frustration, anger, fear... Okay, um... Okay, let's just go arson. Let's just go arson. I was the one who, like, threw bottles at the police, so... It can be arson. It can be arson. Uh, what do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan. Nope. My sick babe. Nope. My book of world jumbles in a pen. Ah, no. A cool knife. <laughs> my crippling slow... No. I frequently forget my phone keys and my... Wallet and home sometimes. This seems like ADHD. Ooh. Okay, no. We are loving ourselves. We are trying. Tio is trying hard to love himself. So no. Cool knife. I don't feel like he's the one. Knife. Um, not a cardigan for sure. Mm. Frequently. Okay, but it fits Theo. It fits Theo. He can be ADHD trying dad. Makes sense. Makes sense, I think. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. How proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world. If I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my girl. <laughs> when I can next get a cup of coffee. Long mourner modifications. Okay. No, no, no. Um, this one's no, but conspiracy theories and potential ends of the world, they seem interesting. I'm gonna go with conspiracy theories because this is the whole that you can just be going and going after. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's, looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them, or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Welcome. You got dads. Okay, I got dads. Is this my daughter? Hi, that man. <laughs> oh, honey. Hi, Theo, it's me, our dear old friend from way back in the day, day. Dead man, the, I'm delighted to see you've signed up for that book. They've recently added this exciting new messenger service, so you may find yourself receiving messages from other dads like myself. Take care not to miss them. Thank you, Dead man. Can I write her back? Mand, is that you? What are you doing on that book? 
Why, dear? I never. We've known each other since business school. How could you possibly confuse me for your dumb, amazing and talented and easy to buy things for daughter? Though I am, of course, flattered. You should buy Amanda more things. Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait. No. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard it. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. Too late, holding on this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? I decline to comment. Cool. Conversation ended. Okay, so who should I message? Hey, let's face it, I want to go with Joseph. He's a cool guy. But no, thank you. This is like too much for me, too much drama, too much family drama. No, no, no. Uh, Hugo, he seems a cool guy. But he's a madness teacher and I know that she's like going out of school like very soon. But it's still weird, you know, like... It can be difficult for Amanda, so I guess not. We will see. I'm leaving it open. Craig. This one I can't do because he's my friend. And I guess I prefer him as a friend. So it leaves me with Damien, Matt, Brian and Robert. Uh, at least for now. At least for now, but who should I message first? Maybe, maybe Matt. Let's message Matt. He seems cool. Oh, because they're just profiles first. And message here. And here is the hearts I can get. Okay. Okay. And um, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling binges over at the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80 snow wave music. On Friday night, you are most likely to. Perfect my cold view setup. One drip at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take with you on desert island, it would be fine tunes to pass the days away. You see, he's like cool dude. Uh, what are turn ons? Multi instrumentalism. Oh, it's not me, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but I can uh, play with other things if you want to. <laughs> uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. You like anime? You like anime? I bet you do. Or like maybe some French things. I don't know. You look like either the guy who watches alternative, very artistic movies that are from Europe or anime. Yeah. Uh, what's your ideal date? You go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. That's sweet. That is sweet thing to do. Uh, what do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in ear and over ear, just in case. Ah, uh, yes. The trauma. Oh, it's adorable. My headphones, both in ear and over ear, just in case. Oh, it's traumatized. <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna read them through then. Craig, my dearest friend. Dad of three. Three kids, I forgot about. That's a lot of kids. Business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Juggling work, family and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's gotta do it. On Friday night, you are most likely to get one last good cardio session in. If you had one thing to take with you, a box of energy bars, turn on a sub six minute while. Oh wow, that's that's not what I would want to do as a Tio. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Beer punk world champion. Makes sense. What's your favorite movie genre? Body cop movies forever. Yeah, that makes sense too. What's your ideal date? Calling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. Yeah, he's a very fitness dude. What do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. Energy gel? Does energy gel exist? What? I spent a lot of time thinking about 
Uh, my mild time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? Okay. Okay, Craig. Let's be friends. Okay, Brian. Brian. Brian Hardy. Hey, I'm Brian. I spent most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking up new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Okay, Friday nights, she just how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. Uh, desert island fishing pole. Makes sense, that's smart. What are turn-ons? Uh, a keen understanding of stick cuts. Okay, he wanted to be a fireman. Oh, that's sweet. And he loves romantic comedies. Cute. Ideal day deck building. Okay. He's like sailor type, kind of. Cute. Uh, what do you never leave home without? My portable fishing pole. Uh, okay, and he spends a lot of time thinking about how my daughter is smarter than I am. Okay. I mean, at least she's smart. I guess it would be worse if she would be dumber. Uh, Robert Small. When the internet gains sanction and decides to destroy us all, you know it will use this information against us, right? A Friday night. Make a deal in the alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it Gekamo? I trust Gekamo. Okay. He would take a gun. Okay. To the desert island. Hey, is it suicidal? Or is it just brutal? You can choose. You can choose, my dearest chilatons, for yourself. What is the answer here? Uh, what are your turnouts? Don't talk to me. Okay, uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? Grif Grifter? What the hell is Grifter? He loves Italian neorealism. What the hell is that? Uh, what do you never leave home without? At least four knives. Are you so... what? I mean, it's like edgy. It's cool. But it's... It's so much for me. It's so much for me. I'm just gonna go with Matt because like he seems so sweet for now. Please, okay, and he spends a lot of time thinking about You ever really look into a, a rabbit animal eyes? Oh my god, he's so edgy. I guess it was a good um encounter what we did. Maybe he's sweet somewhere there, but if I'm not gonna be seeing that, I guess no. How do you do? I finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you ever like to chat about the latest Victorian fashion, the inevitability of our own demise or black cats, please send me a letter. Or maybe Damien, because he also seems very sweet. Uh, Friday night, listen to a true crime podcast while I taxidermy my newest specimen. Okay, Desert Island Coffin. Okay, uh, turn on, pronouncing bosom correctly. He wanted to be a bat when he grew up, that's so cute. Um, Faith movie genre, foreign art house horror. Makes sense. Um, Ideal date. It's night. We are, in, uh, we are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. Leave home uh, upside down cross. I spend a lot of time thinking about mortality silence. Okay, okay. He is edgy, but he's different edgy than Robert. He's like soft edgy. And Robert is kind of gangster. Yes, it's like, a ah, gangster! Yes! Okay, Hugo. Middle school teacher. High school teacher. Writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. He needs to get his relationship straight with his son. Oh, poor Hugo. Okay, on a Friday night, uh, brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. Miniatures, but like Warhammer miniatures? Are you nerdy? You are like a little nerdy geeky. I knew it. Okay, Desert Island, a remembrance of a thing's past by Marcel Proust. Turn on muscles. What did you want to be when you grew up? Movie star. Oh. 
What's your favorite movie genre documentary? So now art history. What's your ideal date? Each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. What do you never leave home without? My glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. <laughs> I spend a lot of time thinking about... I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. Ah, that's an interesting take on You're smart, Hugo. You're smart, I give you that. You can have crazy. <laughs> No, but I feel like Hugo and Craig, it would be like polar opposites, like, you know, Troy and Gabriella from High School Musical. You know, they just need to get together to figure stuff out. Okay, and Joseph, though, my dear Christian boy. Oh, so Christian. Voted Maple's Bay worst youth minister for five years running. Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candy Land. Friday night, lead the community in a fun mixer. Desert Island, my sick steering. Uh, what are Eternals, my lovely wife? Sure. Uh, I mean, okay, because I'm like, right now, I may be dismissing Miss. Maybe he is bisexual, and he loved her at, at some point, but I just feel like right now they're in a very toxic relationship, because they're just there for the kids, she doesn't love him clearly, she hates the kids. It feels like she didn't ever want her to have kids, but because he was a youth pastor, she couldn't do anything about it, and she didn't have the choice to do something about it. And yeah, and I'm just really sorry about them both and about, you know, their kids because it's it's actually the hardest, I guess, situation. I guess the mo maybe not the hardest from like all the bunch of uh, problems that we encounter, that those dads encounter right now. But I just feel like it's the most messy because it, it contains so many people. It's not, you know, like dad-child relationship where they just like don't click enough. It's like... A whole bunch of more problems, which is kind of sad. And I just hope they're gonna figure it out in the end, yeah. What do you ever leave and never leave home about? The good book? Uh, do you mean the good book, like the good book or like the Bible? Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about how can I be a better man, husband and father. That's sweet, actually, that's sweet. Okay, so we are gonna finish here. This is gonna be the basis for the next episode. You can... Tell me in the comments, sh who do you think I should message first? Uh, who I should pursue for my first dad suing? No, it seems like I'm taking them to court. The Finding the love of my, which is Theo's life. Vote in the comments. I urge you to do that. And yeah, I hope that you're gonna have a great day, night, or whatever you're having right now. And see you next time. Bye.